Hey guys, Pastor Aaron here. I hope you're having an absolutely blessed day. Hey, let's grab our journal, our Bible, and hop into today's study. We are in the letter to Romans, and we've been looking at this section of Scripture that um, Paul is giving advice on how our Christian walk should live out. Somewhere between 11, um, right towards the end, and picking up our faith with Christ, and into 12, and on into 13, and 14, 15, and then ultimately on into 16, living our life out in ministry. And so we're a really exciting part of the letter, and uh, um, today we're going to kind of dive into what our walk looks like in the day, like what our relationship looks like with Christ just right now in the day. And so before we hop into that, let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for who you are, for all that you do, for who you are in our lives. Lord, we pray as we go into your word today that you open our eyes and our heart to the message that you have for us. Lord, help us grow closer to you and all we do. And we just pray that in Jesus' mighty name. They all said, amen. All right, guys, service the fruit of God's righteousness, our relationship to the day. Now, is our salvation nearer than we were when we first believed? So that's a question, right? Now, is our salvation nearer than when we first believed? And so we're going to kind of look at that, right? Because Paul wants to make sure that while we're sitting here in today, right now, in this moment, that you've made sure you're saved. Romans 13, 11, do this, knowing the time that is already the hour for you to awake from sleep. For now, salvation is nearer to us than when we believed. The night is almost gone and the day is near. Therefore, let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. And so what Paul is encouraging us to do is lay aside everything that entangles us, all the sin, right? And just run with Jesus, right? Put on the armor of light. Well, what is this, the armor of light? Word study. All right, one, um, one thing we know in scripture is there's times where we get to look at armor. One of my favorite times is in Ephesians 6, 10, and 11, where it says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. And so today, we know that in this day that we're in, there's all kinds of schemes of the devil going around on around us. And uh, the Lord, Paul is encouraging us, right? That the Lord wants us to put on our armor. And so put on your armor. We have this armor. And so this is kind of our challenge round again. I'm giving you one every time, right? Come find me. Let's dig deeper into what this armor is. What are we putting on? There's a helmet to put on. There's a sword to grab. There's things in here that we need to know about to help us fight against the schemes of the devil today, in the day. All right, guys, here we go. Continuing on, let us behave properly as in the day, not in carousing or drunkenness, not in sexual pers pr promiscuity and sensuality, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regards to its loss. And so, hey guys, there's all kinds of crazy things going on in the world. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, right? We all see this all around us. And what God is saying is, see this warrior here? There's tons of verses packed in that one picture. I challenge you to go through them, right? Look at this armor that God's given us to fight against the world. You can spend a lifetime studying just these pieces and, and the power behind them. And so I really want you guys to take some time, right? Most important is our helmet of salvation, our sin separate us from Jesus Christ, our sin separate us from God, our sins, right? Our sins, the penalty for sin is death. The free gift of life is through Jesus Christ, the price that he paid on the cross to pay the price for all of our sins. And so if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ in your life today, I ask you to right now with me, go, Lord Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I know that my sins separate me from you. I know that you died on the cross to reconcile the world to you. And I'm part of that. And I'm so thankful for what you've done to make a relationship with you possible. And I ask for that in my life. All right, if you just did that, right? You've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ into your life. Um, he's your Lord and Savior. He's gonna help you. He's gonna love you. So you put on that helmet of salvation. It can be never taken away. It can never be knocked off. And along with this, we also get these other parts. Dig into each part. 
Look at what they do. Look at the aspect that they play in our life, the role in our dailiness. Because as you see here in 13, right? Sexual promiscuity, sensuality, jealousy, strife, right? Mm -mm. Get rid of that stuff. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for your flesh in regards to the lust. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, the day, right? We just kept it simple. But let me promise you this. The schemes of the devil are coming daily. And sometimes the hardest thing that we can do as a believer is to stand firm, right? So stand firm against the, stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Put on your armor. Don't forget to fight right? Followers of Christ need to fight back. All right, guys, I hope you have a blessed day. Know that God is ultimately in our lives protecting us, guarding us, encouraging us, empowering us. He's put the Holy Spirit in us to equip us, right? So we are victorious in him. So let your victory shine in the world today, guys. All right, like, subscribe, share. Um, know that we're going to continue on and I'm committed to you and I love you. All right, guys, have a blessed day.